So I'm here with uh, Josefina in the water cube. Uh, Josefina, could you please put up your badge? Take a look. That's great. Uh, so Josefina, why don't you introduce yourself and uh, say what you're doing here? Okay. Uh, my name is Josefina Maestu. I am the director of the UN Water Decade Program on Advocacy and Communication. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are here very busy organizing different events and participating also in different events. Yeah. Basically, we are organizing, we have organized just now this morning, a session which is called Sick Water is Threatening the MDGs, yeah. uh, Engaging Stakeholders. Okay. And it was a beautiful panel discussion. Yeah. Uh, having both the stakeholders and experts. I think we are all a little tired of, of listening to I think to everybody is very tired. <laughs> uh, but of listening to experts as well. So as the well. nice thing here is that we really brought uh, women, we, went, we brought consumers, uh, representatives, we brought uh, farmers and we brought water operators to tell us how they think they see the problems. And uh, then and another thing that we've been doing is also a seminar that we are doing tomorrow on mm -hmm. bridging building bridges between the media and the experts and that's going to happen tomorrow mm -hmm. and it is basically for the for the media representatives who are here in this event yeah. and uh, also we had a little workshop with, with media as well here and we're talking about what has been going on and how we can improve you know the way we, we communicate with the media. Okay so you had a really great session this morning. Yeah. How's the rest of the week you think? The rest of the week uh, was very interesting. I think it's very difficult to find your way in, yeah. a, in, a, in a, um, an event like this. Uh, and I would, ha and I think we are missing some sessions that I really would have liked to be yeah. in. But one has to choose. One has to choose, and sometimes then, at the same time. Yeah. yeah, but I think I was yesterday in the session on the World War Today, and mm -hmm. that was very nice. Yeah. It was very interactive. I was also in the session on the on the climate change debate. Mm -hmm. But also the very interesting sort of side meetings, you know, mm -hmm. to organize Rio Plus 20 and uh, what to do and how to move forward. Mm -hmm. And before that, before the week started, we had a, a meeting of UN Water which is the interagency um, coordination mechanism that yeah. UN has yeah. to, to start getting together, to, to get our positions yeah. streamlined and, and try to communicate better. And, 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 and tonight you have a launching of a, of a new video or? Yes, yeah. uh, well the, um, in the Seek Water meeting we had this morning, yeah. we, we videoed it and uh, it was very exciting, really very well done. You mm -hmm. know, we had a fantastic keynote speakers presenting this report and then having all these people discussing and how they felt about the report, whether they agreed or disagreed with some of the main statements. And we are, we are sending this, this uh, video to the, to the media yeah. and trying to make sure that, you know, that in, more or less in real time mm -hmm. comes out. Because what happens a lot of the times with these experts meeting, that really the results of the the outputs yeah. are really written reports and things like that exactly, yeah. and they we didn't really reach through and they are not in real time so this video is a video and it's three interviews so the, the idea is that people can download it and they can use it yeah. and they can you know see well that's that's what the water cube is all about uh, we try to you know bring it out there in a new way I know. It, just closing uh, how would you get into the water sector me yeah that's a good question. Well, I'm Spanish, you know. I'm Spanish <laughs> like the Dutch. Uh, water is a very important part of our yeah. lives. Yeah. And it's true, it's strange because I'm an economist and, and, and normally water is sort of the domain more of the technical people or the science. The engineers. People, yeah, the engineers and the science, you know. Yeah. But uh, not the economists. The economists are not there. We are not very many. I mean, in fact, there are a few here. But we are not very many. But somehow I think uh, I was always very interested in applied economics. And applied economics includes sort of waste management, which I did, transportation, mm -hmm. which I did also. And, you know, 20 years ago, you know, I started to do water and I thought, you know, this is very important because it, it, it really is multidisciplinary in the best way. Mm -hmm. And it's not, it, it allows you to both talk about natural systems, also man-made systems and, and the financing and economics. And so it brings together Lots of dimensions and many other issues, don't they? Not mm -hmm. in the same way. Exactly. So that's that's how your passion started in water, then. Yeah. I love it. So once you are in, it's very <laughs> difficult to stop, and you know it. And, uh, so this is it. And yes, and I think uh, the more I have worked into it, and I've been working for with it for 25 years, I can yeah. assure you, the the more interesting it is. Yeah. I mean, when people say water is complex, when they, I it, it doesn't. I I think it's something that I don't like it. Yeah. You know, because I think it's so natural. 
Yeah. I mean, the good thing about water is natural, yeah. and it is it, it it is true that you know managing water, you know the kind of institutions we generate to you know to provide water services, supply and sanitation services, the kind of institutions we get to make sure that river basins function properly, that we have alerts when there is floods, that we allocate water rights to people. Mm -hmm. All of it is very natural. You yeah. know, it, it doesn't. You know, if you really know what happens, it doesn't need to be complex. When, it, when we talk about complexity. Um, find it difficult. I mean, what are they complex? Are they complex the, the habitats, you know, the, 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 the natural habitats in the rivers because of the kind of composition or the life that is there? Yes, that's probably complexity. But it's also something that you can grasp. Mm -hmm. You feel it. You can feel nature. Yeah. That's something that is important. Okay, well, thank you very much for this interview. It's the first time I've heard someone say that water is not complicated at all. It's natural. I know. Thank you very much. Okay. And uh, well, enjoy the rest of the week. And I look forward to seeing that video. Okay. We will give it to give it to you. Thank you very much for your interview as well. Thank you.